The following video is part of my Data Center Fabric Architectures webinar. This webinar is just one of many vendor independent data center and virtualization webinars available on IPSpace. To learn more about them, visit ipspace.net. And don't forget that you get immediate access to all of them with a yearly subscription. This is the problem we are having with VMs. Today, people want to move virtual servers, virtual machines from one physical server to another without disrupting the traffic flow. VMware has vMotion, Hyper-V has, I think, Live Migration or whatever it's called. Zen Server has a similar concept. So every major hypervisor environment allows you to move a live virtual machine from one physical host to another one. If you want to retain data sessions, you have to retain the IP address of the virtual machine. And that means it has to be in the same subnet. There are some layer three solutions that we could use, but they are too slow for really non-disruptive vMotion. It still takes a few seconds for the IP routing protocols to converge. So the only solution we have today is layer two connectivity between physical servers. So when a VM moves on the other side, it has to be in the same VLAN, which means that every server on which this VM could potentially land has to be in the same VLAN as the originating physical server. So you have a real VLAN sprawl with large broadcast domains, plus you might get suboptimal flow because even though you moved the virtual machine, the layer three next hop is still the same. So the traffic will go like this. See, that's why VM mobil and mobility awareness is so important. Because if nothing else, this switches can reduce the number of VLANs on the server trunks and configure them dynamically. Also, if you could optimize layer three forwarding, for example, like what uh, Juniper is doing with QFabric, you can go one step further. So what Juniper is doing actually is every access layer switch has the same IP addresses and every one of them can serve as IP next hop. So across the fabric, you always get optimum traffic flow. A question from Alex. Are VXLAN or MVGRE solutions for this one over IP core? Exactly. So VXLAN and MVGRE are both layer two over IP encapsulation schemes. So instead of building layer two subnets with VLANs, we build them over IP and we use IP multicast to emulate broadcasting and multicasting in layer two. The problem with both these solutions is that today we cannot terminate them on any physical appliance. You can terminate a VLAN on a load balancer or a router or a firewall or wherever else you wish it to be terminated. You can't do the same thing with VXLAN or NVGRE. To escape out of a layer two virtual subnet implemented with one of those technologies, you have to use a virtual machine with two interfaces. So that's the problem with VXLAN today. It's perfect for fully virtualized environments. It doesn't work so well when you have to terminate virtual networks on physical appliances. To get more information about my webinars, to register for an online session or buy a recording or the yearly subscription, please visit my website.